As South Carolina tries to get more teachers in the classroom, they're looking not just toward college graduates, but also at people who have work experience outside of the classroom. For example, recruiting someone who's been a nurse to be a health teacher. Mary Green explains what lawmakers are doing to help with this recruitment. State lawmakers are considering a bill that supporters believe would help South Carolina compete for teachers with North Carolina and give it a leg up against Georgia and Tennessee. This bill has a lot of support. I've gotten a bunch of emails on this bill. Um, the Teachers Association um, supports the bill. South Carolina teachers have a minimum salary schedule, partially based on experience in the classroom. This bill would allow work experience in a field related to the subject they'd be teaching to count toward what they would need to move up the pay scale, as long as they have at least five years experience. For example, if I previously worked in a science lab and I am a entering the profession to be a certified science teacher. If I'd worked at least five years in that science lab, let's say I'd worked six, then I could start at step six on my salary. North Carolina already has this in place, while Georgia and Tennessee don't. So supporters say it would be an important recruiting tool. But some state senators say they're concerned enacting this would upset some veteran teachers. If I were teaching for 20 years and somebody rolls in the door, um, from well from the private sector or from another state even I mean I think that might grind on me as well. Patrick Kelly a teacher who also works for the Palmetto State Teachers Association says while he appreciates those senders are thinking about how this bill could affect teacher retention he doesn't share their concerns. I'm hearing overwhelmingly from teachers is their primary concern is we've got to do something to reverse this shortage um, because when we cannot recruit enough talent into the profession then what we end up with is the teachers who remain in the classroom being overworked. This bill is now awaiting a debate on the Senate floor where there likely will be pushes to change how much that previous outside work experience would count toward moving up the teacher pay scale. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. If the Senate passes the bill this year, it's likely the House of Representatives wouldn't take it up until next year with just a month left in the 2023 legislative session.